viewers, this is Tanya. Um, the purpose of this video is to show you uh, the transformation of my dining room. I've been in my home for four years now. Let me just show you my dining room. And I have not painted not one room in my whole house. The whole house is this very neutral color. And um, so I decided to get off my butt and go to Sherwin-Williams and pick out some paint colors. And I thought, oh, I wanna pick out what I want. I knew that I wanted a red in the dining room at the top there, as you can see. I have a chair rail here. And I want red at the top and I wanted a neutral at the bottom. So when I went in there to look at all the paint swatches, to be honest, I got overwhelmed. And so I started to look for ideas online and on YouTube on what colors to paint the dining room. And there, there weren't that many videos out there, so I thought I would share mine and the process that I went through. The first thing I did is I, I went to Sherwin Williams and, and I got some pot um, paint swap, swatches. And they look like this, they're little paint swatches. And then I took the paint swatches and I hung them on my wall. Let me show you that. Here's some, or here are some of the paint swatches that I hung on my wall and I wanted to make sure that the red didn't clash with the cherry wood finish on my furniture here. So I held them up and looked at them near the light and all that stuff and decided on one. And so the color that I decided on to paint the top is this color here. It's called Heartthrob Red. I don't know if you could see that. And then um, I wasn't sure what color to paint the bottom, the part under the chair rail. And so on the back of the paint swabs are complementary colors. So I just chose, oops, I just chose one of the complementary colors here, which says Columnade Gray. That's supposed to complement this red. So I'm going, I'm planning to do this color at the top and this color at the bottom. And here are the paint samples that I, re I purchased. They were only about $7, a little over $7 a piece, and you get a quite a bit. So I plan to paint, uh, well, I'm gonna have my husband paint um, the, the samples here on the wall at the top and on the bottom so I can see if I like it before we go and proceed with painting the whole dining room. The reason I decided to go to Sherman Williams, because at first, I thought I would go to Walmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot, which are popular pay places for paint. And But I didn't feel like being in a large store. I needed indiv individual attention. I had questions about what sheen to use. Um, I was told to use the sheen of satin on for a dining room because it'll have a slight shine to it and it's cleanable. And I, I just want to individualize attention I didn't want to go in the store like a Walmart. Sometimes there's no one um, at the paint counter and I don't want to go looking for someone to help me with paint and all that type of stuff. And so I decided to go to a place that specializes in paint. Even if it's a, if even if I have to pay a slightly more premium, I wanted that personalized attention. So um, this is the intro. So when I come back, um, I am going to, well, next I'm going to prep. I have some paper there. I have this frog tape that I purchased. I'm going to tape off the chair rail because I'm, I'm not planning to paint this. So I'm going to do the best we can to just keep this um, white and trying to get no paint up here. So I'm going to use the um, frog tape to seal this off at the top and bottom. And we're going to paint some samples at the top and bottom. And I'm going to show you how that looks. Okay, stay, stay tuned. Thanks.